graduated from Stoneham's high school, but I only went one year. I was born, born in Somerville, so I went to the Somerville schools for 11 years, and then I, my folks moved up here and I went one year and I graduated in 1941. <laughs> Dating me back a bit. <laughs> and uh, I went into the service in 44, Women's Army Corps, and came out in 45. I was stationed in Washington, D.C. And uh, I can't say too much about what I did because I was in the Signal Corps, so of course I had to sign papers that I would never say anything. So I've never, me I've never mentioned anything that I had did in the service other than the fact that I audited the ship to shore messages from the, the ships. And uh, uh, I was married on, I went around with a fellow from Wuben. He was sent to uh, England and uh, he came back and I was married on a three day pass in the army. <laughs> uh, I let my folks know Wednesday I was getting married the following Sunday, so I have two daughters that I said if they ever did that to me I would have killed them. <laughs> but I got married and uh, came out of the service and uh, I had two daughters, Ethel and Marguerite, and uh, never, gave it a, never gave it a thought that I was a veteran because the women, we weren't acknowledged, let's face it, the women veterans of World War II they, they weren't acknowledged that much, you better. And if I meet a veteran, woman veteran in the street or something, I make up a point to go over and talk to her. And I say, You're, we're buddies. <laughs> because this, the, world, the, the women in the World War II, they really had it. They, so, I talked to some nurses that they went over there and they didn't have, they didn't have any place. They were in tents. I, I'm not gonna tell you what they, what they told me because it, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> But anyway, they, the things that they had, they said that they, the, the officers go by and they'd have a line out with hang, clothes hanging out. And, that, and they, they couldn't believe it because they, they weren't prepared for the women veterans when, in World War II. They just weren't. And so, but this year, now, the girls are out there fighting and everything else, and you know. The sun shines on today.